خب الان میخوایم یه سری دوستان سوالاتی که شما عزیزان از طریق سوشال میدیا برای ما فرستادین رو با بردر زمون فیلیپ در میون بذاریم و ببینیم که پاسخ ایشون چی هستش So, so we received a few, a few questions um, The first one is Why churches divided if we have only one Lord and only one book and only one message? Yes I don't know how big your family is My family Not is a big, big family. Okay. So my father had uh, nine or ten uh, brothers and sisters. Mm. And they all had children. And so I've got cousins. And they've had children. And they've got cousins. And we don't recognize each other anymore. We don't know who they are. We don't... I, yeah. uh, you know, there was a family reunion at which half the people who came I had never heard of before. They were yeah. total strangers to mm. me. And whereas... My uncles and my brothers uh, kind of look alike and look like my father. By the time you move three, four generations, they don't, they don't even look like us. They don't, I can't believe that they claim to be Jensen's. <laughs> <laughs> and so Christianity has gone 2,000 years. Mm. And over that period of time, the, uh, uh, the look of what Christians look like has got further and further apart. And unless you return back to the original, you just slowly drift further and further away. You just mm. evolve into different looking people. And so each generation tends to think that the church they grew up in was the real church. <laughs> and of course, it, it's a lack of historical knowledge. Because if you checked 100 years before that, they didn't sing those hymns and they didn't have that kind of architecture and they didn't have this. But what you grew up singing is what you think was the real one. Yes. Well, you do that across 2,000 years and you find that the church just has evolved in all kinds of ways and patterns that have got very little to do with the New Testament, right. which is why the <coughs> Reformation took place. It was reforming the church. Mm. And one of the principles of the Reformation was you always need to reform the church. You, mm, every generation needs to reform the church. Okay. So we always need to go back to the original. And that's why we keep on saying, go back to the Bible, look at what it says, and change in the light of it. Change by all means, but change in the light of it, mm. rather than continuing the practices of yesteryear, because, well, that's the way it was always done, or that's the way I was taught. Because. Mm. It just gets further and further away from the truth. Exactly. Um, when I was asked this question in one of our Bible study group, uh, this just came to my mind and I said it. I said, you have a classroom with 20 students. We have, we, you have one teacher with one book, but you see a few fails, the test, one top student. It's also depending on the students, how they read their Bible, yes. as you said, how they yes. put the time in. If we have right. a lazy preacher, for example, yes. so obviously we, we go astray. And, and, and a sinful one who leads us astray mm. and those kinds of things happen, yes. Exactly. There used to be photostats rather than photocopiers. Before we had plain paper photocopiers, we had photostats, which was a kind of a film. Yeah, yeah. And when you took a photostat of a photostat of a photostat, it just got weaker and weaker exactly. and weaker as yep. it went down yep. through every generation. Well, Christianity is at the end of 2,000 that's a, years. That's a good illustration. That illustration has been destroyed by plain copy photocopies. <laughs> exactly. Technology we, has we, destroyed we, we, that illustration. We can't use it anymore. <laughs> yeah, wonderful.